in this video, I am going to discuss about how to create a function in Oracle database. So, at here, I am using Oracle SQL Developer and here, this is the syntax to create the function. First is create of replace function, here procedure name, function name. So, at here, you have to give parameter. So, this should be input or output and here, data. And here, return. So, it can be is or as. And here declaration part here begin inside you can write execution part here exception so exception is the option part here you can give end now here after let's write one simplest or query to create the function so at you're going to use create here after create or replace create or replace here function create or replace function and here Giving the function name fn1, okay, and here so function name, and here going to take one parameter str, and here this should be integer or uh, in input time, and here and this should be vacant fill. Now, here after let's use return, return so this should be vacant fill. Now here after let's use is here after begin and next going to use return and here going to use in single quote hello and going to use concatenate operator done my plan. So this will concatenate with str variable. Now here after let's use end. Now, if you execute this query, so execute that. So let's go down. So see at your function f1 compiled successfully. Now here after I'm going to execute the function. So for this we need you we need to use select a statement and the function name fn1 and here so hello concat going to concatenate with word. So add here let's use word. Hello, word from doer. So doer is the dummy table. Now execute this query. So see at here. So hello, word I am getting. So since hello, there is one space, so that it's a display hello with a space. And here you can find one function is created. So the name is fn1. And here uh, return type and str. So this is the first way we can uh, execute the function. Now if you want, so one more thing, add here select fn. So fn has a one parameter str. So you can give only one parameter. Suppose if I am going to enter two parameter hello and here hi. Now if I am going to execute to this query, so let's see. So add here getting the error message fn1 wrong number of types of argument. So that means the parameter must be same. So if you use add here two parameters, so you should use add here two parameters. Now here after let's see another way to execute the function f1. So add here we need to use declare and going to take one variable str2 and this should be varchar. So at here going to give the size 55. So if you give 55, so this will accept 55 characters. Now here after let's use begin and here str2. So inside str2 going to pass the value of fn1. So inside fn1, so it accept one parameter fn1 at the time of creation, it's accept one parameter. So at a going to give, uh, so there is already hello, so going to give at a word. Word and here close by semicolon. Now here after going to use dbms underscore output dot put underscore line. So in C language we are using uh, printers. And here in PS, PLS curve, we have to use dbms output dot put line to print uh, what we in the bracket into the output scheme. So I am going to print str2 values. Now here after close by semicolon. 
now execute that now go down so see at a hello world it's a printing so this is the second way we can uh, print so you can use either this one or here either you can use this one or this option so this is the PLS square part and here by using select test treatment you can also execute and you will get the expected output so suppose if I am going to enter, if I don't give any parameter, let's see what happened. So because at, at the time of function creation, so there is a parameter. So at here, one parameter, fn has one parameter str, so this should be in a uh, varchar tab. So I did not give any parameter, now execute that. So read the message, usually compilation error here. Now, so so going to give at here hello now we can give expected output execute that yeah. so see at here hello okay i forget to give single quote no. so see at here hello hello it's a display so th that's it about the function so in this video i discussed how to create the function in oracle so i hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.